Hey, sports fans. We are going to learn today how to make a slab cylinder. How to take a slab and bend it around and make a cylinder. There's a zillion reasons why you can make slab cylinders. There's a few examples there. Carl, why don't you pan over there? Excellent. Anyways, and we'll show you other ways that you can use a cylinder, but the point is how to use a slab, how to make a slab cylinder. It's a good thing to have something around which you're going to make the size of cylinder that you want. So you can get anything around a long cylinder as your model that you want. Secondly, you decide, what size do I want? What size cylinder do I want? This big? I want this big. I want a little teeny, little thimble, whatever you want. And boom. What I'm going to do is take a piece of paper and I'm going to decide how tall it is. And then, this is how tall I've decided I want this cylinder. And I measured and I cut this out. How do you know how long you want the cylinder? I put this on here beforehand. Good, good question, Carl. And I went around to where it hit the other side. See? Got it. Right? So I did that, first of all, make sure it, uh, the measurements are right. And then I also did, well, how tall do I want it? So basically, that cylinder is going to be like this. Got it? Got okay. it. All right. So the next thing you do is you take. If you took a slab of clay, and here's, we already showed you how to roll out a slab of clay, but here is a rather moist slab of clay, and I say have it on the moist side. If it's closer to leather hard, if you try to bend it, it might crack. So there's our slab of clay, and we then have this that we're gonna put on here. Oh, perfecto mundo. And you can go like this, and Go ahead and cut it. All right. But a bing bang boom. We're all set. That is going to be our cylinder. And we're going to put it around this, right? Huh? So just wrap it up. Is that going to make you happy, wrapping it on a piece of plastic like that? What do you think might happen with the clay? Sticky? It would be. Sticky. All right, so what we're going to do instead is <laughs> what we're going to do instead is take a little bit of this and we're going to wrap it around here. Get a little tape. Put it over here. Wrap this up. Tuck it in here. Take your tape. Hold it there. Anyways, long story short, that ends up like this, nice and tight. You get it? and it's folded over one side, okay? All right, let's make it easy. Then, this slab goes to here. I used to like to use a table that has this on it. El Forco, and put it right to the edge, and oh, would you look at that. Sweet mother of God, there you go. Instant slip, and you get to use your fork, and then I might take this little F spongeo, just put a little bit more moisture on that. You'll never be you'll never be disappointed if you spent a couple extra seconds overscoring something. Because if you don't score well enough, sometimes you get something done and it looks fine, but then in the firing, it has a crack or it comes apart at the seam. Or during the drying. Or during the drying. During drying, yep. Yeah. So if you spend a little bit of extra time. So it looks like you keep dipping your fork in water to get your fork a little bit wet. Yes. That's, I, that's, I, you don't need a ton of water, just enough to make just it Just enough bit to wet. make that a slip, right? And then, you know, there's all kinds of little tricks and everybody has their own way of scoring. Now here's the end. And if this is our, our example, we're gonna have a bottom on it. So I wanna not, I wanna go here so that I'm gonna have a little bit of room. Right. Come around here. And gently bend it. And now I left the slab. As you see, slabs bend. But if I had left this out and let it get leather hard when I did this, it would probably crack. So right, that so that slab is just about as dry as it would be. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Used the wrong cylinder. Oh no, I did the 
Well, this is a great opportunity to show us your problem solving skills, Mark. <laughs> what are you going to do? Either find a smaller one. <laughs> or add some clay. Add some clay on it. Or your... stretch, that, stretch that slab out, make it thinner. There we go. Nailed it. What are you doing? Um, scoring, making something joint together. As I have said before, so it's not only slipping, it's not only scoring and adding water to make the slip, but pressure is an important part. So you're really squeezing that seam together. Squeezing the... Then, like, kind of blending the clay together. And I'm compressing this way. And I'm compressing this way. So it's not only scoring, but you also compress. So you're not pushing that hard. So you're not making the clay really no. thinner in that spot. Nope. Okay, so there is a cylinder. Now, here's the fun part of this. So we got this whole thing. And I've got this little extra clay. This is going to be the base. But, um, sweet Mary, mother of God, look at that. Ooh! Right? And this just comes right out. Now, set that on there. Trace around here. And I would suggest that you score this first. Before cutting it. This is going to be one of those that we totally fast forward. Okay. Sometimes scoring takes a few minutes, but you'll be happy that you scored well if you. And I'm going to wiggle that down there. Doing the old wiggle down. Doing the old wiggle down. And now, now that I've got it on there, now I can cut this. All right. Boom. And then you're really making sure that it's got a little bit of it's fastened on. And this this little area at the bottom. You can trim this away, but I suggest you maybe wait till that gets leather hard and then you can trim that a little bit away. But what you have then is a very basic cylinder and if you wait for it to get leather hard, there's all kinds of carving and sculpting you can do on it. And that's it, that's cylinders.